Hey guys, I'm Marvello Dad here in Norway and today we're gonna talk about the Christmas lights. That one is not even Christmas, I think it's for a dog or something. How can we use this cheap lights, especially cheap now, for like a dollar or two for our toy or action figure photography? Check it out. So first we have some Christmas lights that do change color. So they were... Uh, the effect is really great but it's difficult to predict. So if you really want to have a specific color for these guys, like we know a specific characters have a specific colors of their powers. Like for example, Polaris is always green or Cyclops, it will be always red. I think Jean Grey telekinetic or telepathic powers or in general telepathic powers for X-Men were uh, usually pink but her fiery powers will be around red so or, or fiery so it's also like yellow or orange maybe even a bit of blue so these first one were quite difficult to to predict but still quite uh, amazing effect and they cost me like two dollars or something like that so so it's not a not a biggie second ones were white light and these ones are actually looking a little bit like lightning let's check this one with storm of course white light or yellowish light will be will be the color of the lightning that's obvious why i didn't thought about it the possibilities with those are virtually unlimited if you have any ideas or suggestions which marvel legend x-men character should i make next with these effects Leave me in a comment, I will for sure consider it. But I have a great idea for for Nightcrawler, but I'm gonna leave it for like next week, okay? So if you wanna see Nightcrawler effects, practical effects, subscribe to my channel next week, you should see something interesting about it. And in the meantime, we'll have some unboxing because the new stuff came and still we are still building uh, this uh, big ass sentinel from cardboard so what we do we take uh, the camera i go with canon m50 as my camera of choice but you can go with a mobile phone as long as you have you turn it on manual and you're gonna extend the time of the photo i didn't do it maximal like a minute or so because there is no need for that I took like 15 seconds long exposure you can google it you can check it on your on the manual for your camera how to make a long exposure that's what you what you need to do I have this red one I think it's for the dog and let's try to make a cyclops effect with this one yeah I'm pretty happy how cyclops came out it's not the best photo ever, but I think it's good as a to illustrate the whole idea. Maybe it's gonna maybe it's gonna inspire some of you guys to take a really great photos with this kind of uh, effect. And that's all. There's no big secret. Cheap light and low long exposure for your photos, and you have a super cool practical effect without photoshop or any other program thanks for checking my channel consider subscribing for more videos and don't forget to leave me a like i will greatly appreciate that take care